the galaxy had known peace for millennia under the iron-fisted rule of the Galactic Empire. Planets across the vast expanse of space had long since bowed down to the Empire's demands, paying tribute in resources and obedience in return for protection and stability. But one inconsequential blue planet on the fringes of the galaxy resisted the Empire's demands. Earth, a small world teeming with life and potential, refused to yield to the Empire's oppressive rule. For years, Earth had managed to stay hidden from the prying eyes of the Empire, its inhabitants blissfully unaware of the looming threat that hovered above them in the stars. That all changed one fateful day when a massive Imperial fleet descended upon Earth, their ships blotting out the sun as they hovered ominously in the skies above major cities. The Empire issued an ultimatum, demanding Earth's immediate submission and compliance, threatening annihilation if their demands were not met. Humanity watched in horror as the holographic image of the Emperor materialized in every corner of the planet, his cold voice echoing across continents. Surrender to the will of the Empire, he boomed, his face twisted in a sneer of disdain. You will pay tribute or face the consequences. Resistance is futile. Governments around the world scrambled to find a peaceful solution, desperate to avoid the destruction that loomed on the horizon. But as diplomats met behind closed doors and alliances were strained to their breaking point, a different sentiment began to emerge among the people of Earth, a sentiment of defiance, of righteous anger at the audacity of these alien invaders. In the heart of Washington, D.C., world leaders gathered for an emergency summit, their faces etched with worry and fear. Among them, a lone figure stood tall, his eyes blazing with determination. General Adam Hayes, the highest-ranking military officer on Earth, spoke out against the tide of defeatism that threatened to overwhelm them. We will not cower before these tyrants, General Hayes declared, his voice ringing clear and strong. We will stand together and fight for our right to self-determination. Earth will not bow to the whims of the Empire. We will never surrender. His words struck a chord with the assembled leaders, a spark of hope igniting in their hearts. Together, they made a daring decision, one that would change the course of history and set Earth on a path of defiance and rebellion. With grim resolve, they issued their own ultimatum to the Galactic Empire. Earth does not yield. The message was broadcast across the galaxy, a beacon of defiance in the face of overwhelming power. We will not pay tribute, we will not bow down, we will fight, and with those words, the fate of Earth was sealed. The Empire had demanded tribute, but instead of submission, they would be met with fire and fury. Earth had chosen to stand and fight, to forge their own destiny among the stars. The Galactic Empire had underestimated the tenacity and spirit of the people of Earth, and soon they would discover the true meaning of humanity's resolve. The defiant declaration from Earth reverberated across the galaxy, igniting a spark of hope among those who had long lived under the oppressive shadow of the Galactic Empire. The news spread like wildfire through the networks of the Resistance, inspiring rebellious factions on distant planets to rise up against their overlords. On Earth, the atmosphere crackled with tension as nations put aside their differences and united under a single cause, the defense of their home against the looming threat of the Empire. People from all walks of life joined together, fueled by a sense of purpose and a shared determination to protect their world from tyranny. General Adam Hayes stood at the forefront of the mobilization efforts, his military expertise and unyielding resolve galvanizing armies from every corner of the globe. With a steely gaze and a mind sharpened by years of strategic planning, he coordinated the Earth Defense Coalition, a unified force tasked with repelling the Imperial invaders. As factories churned out weapons and warships were hastily refitted for combat, the skies above Earth bristled with activity. Pilots and soldiers trained tirelessly, preparing for the coming battle that would determine the fate of their planet. The spirit of defiance that had taken root in the hearts of humanity burned brightly, a beacon of resistance against the encroaching darkness. Communication channels buzzed with reports of skirmishes on nearby planets, where rebellious factions emboldened by Earth's stand launched daring attacks against Imperial outposts. The Empire, caught off guard by the sudden show of defiance, scrambled to reinforce its positions and crush the uprisings before they spread further. Among the stars, a sense of unease began to grow within the ranks of the Empire. 
Whispers of rebellion and defiance echoed through the corridors of their vast fleets, sowing seeds of doubt among soldiers who had long believed in the invincibility of their overlords. The unexpected resistance from Earth had rattled the foundations of their ironclad rule, exposing vulnerabilities that had long been overlooked. But as the Imperial forces mustered for their inevitable assault on Earth, General Hayes knew that the coming battle would be unlike anything humanity had ever faced. The fate of their world hung in the balance, and the odds were stacked against them. Yet he refused to back down, his unwavering resolve a beacon of hope for all who stood ready to defend their planet against the might of the Galactic Empire. As the countdown to war drew near, Earth braced itself for the greatest conflict in its history. The stage was set for a showdown of epic proportions, where the forces of tyranny would clash with the indomitable spirit of humanity. A galactic empire demanded tribute, but Earth had chosen a different path, one of defiance, of resistance, and of unyielding determination to fight for their freedom, no matter the cost. The galactic empire's massive fleet descended upon Earth like a dark storm, their ships blotting out the sky as they prepared to unleash their fury upon the defiant planet. General Adam Hayes stood at the forefront of the Earth Defense Coalition, his gaze unwavering as he surveyed the approaching armada with a mixture of grim determination and steely resolve. As the first shots rang out, a fierce battle erupted in the heavens above Earth. Explosions lit up the sky as Earth's defense forces met the Imperial warships head-on, their weapons blazing in a desperate bid to repel the overwhelming force arrayed against them. The sound of lasers and missiles filled the air, a symphony of destruction that echoed across continents. In the heart of the conflict, pilots from all nations flew with unmatched skill and courage, their fighters dancing through the chaos of battle as they engaged the Imperial ships in a deadly game of cat and mouse. Against seemingly insurmountable odds, they fought with a ferocity born of desperation, determined to protect their homes and loved ones from the tyranny of the Empire. On the ground, soldiers clashed in brutal hand-to-hand -hand combat as Imperial troops landed to conquer the planet by force. Cities became battlegrounds, their streets running red with the blood of those who refused to surrender to the invaders. The Earth Defense Coalition fought tooth and nail to push back the Imperial forces, rallying around the cry of defiance that echoed through their ranks. General Hayes led from the front lines, his strategic brilliance guiding the Earth forces as they mounted a valiant defense against the onslaught of the Empire. With each passing moment, the fate of Earth hung in the balance, the outcome of the battle teetering on a knife's edge as the clash of powers reached its pinnacle. As the battle raged on, a glimmer of hope blossomed in the hearts of the defenders. They fought not just for survival, but for the future of their planet and the freedom of all who called it home. Their defiance was a beacon of resistance that shone brightly in the darkness, inspiring courage and determination in the face of overwhelming odds. Amidst the chaos and destruction, a sense of unity emerged among the people of Earth. Nations set aside their differences and stood shoulder to shoulder in defense of their shared home, their resolve unwavering in the face of overwhelming adversity. Together, they faced the might of the Galactic Empire with a courage that defied all expectations, and as the battle raged on, the galaxy watched with bated breath, awaiting the outcome of the struggle between tyranny and freedom. Earth had chosen to stand and fight, to defy the demands of the Empire and forge its own destiny among the stars. The Galactic Empire demanded tribute, but Earth had answered with a resounding cry. We will never surrender. The battle for Earth raged on, a brutal clash between the entrenched forces of the Galactic Empire and the determined defenders of the Blue Planet. The skies above Earth were painted with streaks of light and fire as the opposing fleets engaged in a deadly dance of destruction, each side fighting with unmatched determination and resolve. General Adam Hayes stood on the command deck of the flagship of the Earth Defense Coalition, his eyes fixed on the tactical readouts as he coordinated the counterattack against the Imperial Armada. With every decision he made, he knew that the fate of Earth hung in the balance, and failure was not an option. As the battle swirled around them, a sudden surge of energy enveloped the Earth fleet, a palpable sense of unity and determination that coursed through the veins of every soldier, pilot and officer. The defenders drew strength from one another, their shared defiance transforming into a force that could not be ignored. 
The turning point came when a squadron of Earth fighters executed a daring maneuver, breaking through the Imperial lines and targeting the flagship of the Imperial fleet. With precision and skill, they unleashed a barrage of firepower that crippled the massive warship, sending it spiraling out of control into the depths of space. The destruction of the Imperial flagship sparked a chain reaction throughout the Empire's fleet, chaos erupting as the defenders capitalized on the moment of vulnerability to press their advantage. Ships fell from the sky like burning stars, their wreckage a testament to the unyielding spirit of those who refused to bow down to tyranny. On the ground, Earth forces pushed back the Imperial troops with unwavering determination, reclaiming cities and territories that had fallen under the boot of the invaders. The people of Earth rose up in defiance, their voices united in a chorus of liberation and freedom as they fought to protect their home from the grip of the Empire. As the last remnants of the Imperial fleet retreated into the void of space, General Hayes knew that the battle for Earth had been won. The Galactic Empire had demanded tribute, but the defiant inhabitants of Earth had answered with a resounding victory. The skies cleared, the smoke of battle fading into the ether as a new dawn broke over the planet. Victory celebrations echoed across the globe as the people of Earth rejoiced in their triumph over tyranny. General Hayes stood before the crowds, his voice ringing out with pride and gratitude for all who had fought and sacrificed for the freedom of their world. The Galactic Empire had been dealt a decisive blow, and Earth stood tall as a beacon of hope for all who dared to resist its oppressive rule. And as the dust settled and the scars of war began to heal, the people of Earth looked to the stars with newfound determination and purpose. The battle for their planet had been won, but the struggle for freedom in the galaxy was far from over. Earth had shown that even against the mightiest of empires, the indomitable spirit of humanity would always triumph in the end. In the aftermath of the epic battle that had secured Earth's freedom from the clutches of the Galactic Empire, a sense of unity and resilience enveloped the planet. The scars of war were still fresh, but amidst the devastation, a newfound spirit of hope and determination thrived among the people. General Adam Hayes stood before the assembled leaders of the Earth Defense Coalition, his gaze firm and unwavering as he addressed them. Today, we have proven that the will of the people cannot be crushed by tyranny. Earth stands as a testament to the power of unity and defiance against oppression. But our fight is not over. The galaxy still remains at the mercy of the Empire's tyranny, and we must stand together to ensure that freedom prevails. His words resonated with all who listened, a call to arms that galvanized nations and worlds across the galaxy to join the cause of resistance against the Galactic Empire. Earth had become a symbol of hope, a rallying point for all who sought to throw off the shackles of oppression and forge their own destinies among the stars. As Earth began to rebuild and heal from the wounds of war, emissaries from distant planets arrived bearing tales of rebellion and defiance against the Empire. These allies, inspired by Earth's courageous stand, pledged their support and offered their resources in the fight against the oppressive regime that sought to subjugate them. The Earth Defense Coalition transformed into a united front of freedom fighters, its ranks swelling with soldiers, pilots and leaders from a myriad of species and worlds. Together, they planned daring raids and strategic strikes against Imperial outposts, weakening the grip of the Empire on the galaxy one battle at a time. General Hayes led the coalition with wisdom and courage, his strategic brilliance guiding them through the trials and tribulations of war. His leadership inspired loyalty and respect among his comrades, as they fought side by side in defense of liberty and justice for all who yearned to live free from tyranny. Through their combined efforts, the Galactic Empire's grip on the galaxy began to falter. Resistance movements flourished on planets long oppressed by the Empire, rising up to challenge their overlords and reclaim their right to self-determination. The spark of rebellion ignited by Earth's defiance had blossomed into a blazing inferno that soon engulfed the stars themselves. And as the tide of war turned in favor of the resistance, a new dawn broke over the galaxy. The Galactic Empire, once feared and unchallenged, now found itself on the brink of collapse, its hold on power slipping away with each passing day. Earth had sparked a revolution that would forever alter the course of history and herald a new era of freedom and democracy among the stars. As the Earth Defense Coalition prepared for their next battle against the remnants of the Empire, a sense of optimism and hope permeated their ranks. The galaxy was on the cusp of a new beginning, 
where the ideals of liberty and justice would reign supreme, and tyranny would be relegated to the annals of history. Earth had proven that even against the darkest of foes, the indomitable spirit of humanity would always rise to the challenge, ensuring that a brighter future awaited all who dared to fight for their freedom. Among the many worlds enslaved by the Galactic Empire, one planet stood at the forefront of the resistance movement, Ceres Prime. A lush world with vibrant ecosystems and a proud warrior culture, Ceres Prime had long chafed under the oppressive rule of the Empire, yearning for the day when they could reclaim their independence and freedom. Word of Earth's defiance and the growing strength of the resistance spread to Ceres Prime, igniting a spark of hope among its inhabitants. The Saracen people, renowned for their valor and tenacity, rose up in defiance against their imperial overlords, rallying under the banner of the Earth Defense Coalition and pledging their unyielding support to the cause of freedom. General Adam Hayes and a contingent of Earth forces arrived on Ceres Prime, greeted by a tumultuous reception from the liberated populace. The Saracens, fierce warriors clad in intricate battle armor, welcomed their newfound allies with open arms eager to fight alongside them in the battle to reclaim their planet from the grip of tyranny. The liberation of Ceres Prime was not an easy task. The Imperial garrison stationed on the planet was well equipped and heavily fortified, its war machines and troops a formidable barrier to the freedom fighters' advance. But the combined forces of Earth and Ceres Prime fought with unmatched courage and determination, their unity a force that could not be denied. As the battle raged across the verdant landscapes of Ceres Prime, the defenders pushed forward with unwavering resolve, their spirits buoyed by the knowledge that they fought not just for their own freedom, but for the liberation of countless worlds. Oppressed by the Galactic Empire, the Saracens, renowned for their fierce independence and martial prowess, proved to be invaluable allies in the fight against their oppressors. General Hayes led the charge, his tactical acumen and leadership inspiring all who fought at his side. Together, the Earth forces and the Saracen warriors pushed back the Imperial troops, cornering them in their strongholds and shattering the Empire's grip on the planet piece by piece. The turning point came when a small strike team infiltrated the Imperial Command Center, disabling the planetary shield generators and opening the way for the main assault. With the shield down, the combined forces of Earth and Ceres Prime launched a final coordinated attack that overwhelmed the remaining Imperial forces and drove them into retreat. As the smoke cleared and the sounds of battle faded, the people of Ceres Prime emerged victorious, their planet liberated from the yoke of imperial oppression. General Hayes stood before the cheering crowds, his voice ringing out with a message of hope and solidarity for all who had fought valiantly for their freedom. The liberation of Ceres Prime sent shockwaves through the galaxy, inspiring rebellions and uprisings on other enslaved worlds that dared to defy the galactic empire. The spark of resistance that had been ignited by Earth's stand had grown into a roaring flame that now engulfed the stars, heralding a new era of freedom and independence for all who yearned to live free. As the Earth Defense Coalition prepared to move on to their next target, the spirits of the rebels burned bright with the knowledge that together they were unstoppable. The battle for liberation had only just begun, but with the strength of unity and the courage to fight for what was right, they knew that victory was within their grasp. Earth and its allies stood ready to take on the Empire, one world at a time, until the galaxy was finally free from the shadows of tyranny. As the tide of rebellion swept through the galaxy, the Galactic Empire found itself reeling from the series of defeats it had suffered at the hands of the Earth Defense Coalition and its allies. The once mighty regime that had ruled with an iron fist now faced the grim reality of its impending downfall, its grip on power slipping with each world that rose up in defiance. Emperor Durakoth, the ruthless ruler of the Empire, brooded in his throne room aboard the Imperial flagship, his brow furrowed with consternation as he pondered the crushing losses his forces had endured. The defiance of Earth and its allies had dealt a blow to his dominion that he could not ignore and the rebellion spreading like wildfire across the galaxy threatened to dismantle his rule completely. In the midst of this turmoil, a shadowy figure emerged from the fringes of the Empire, a mysterious admiral known only as Vexis. Rumors whispered of a powerful armada hidden in the depths of space, a fleet of ships bristling with advanced weaponry and ruthless soldiers devoted to the will of their enigmatic leader. 
Emperor Durakov saw in Admiral Vexis a glimmer of hope, a chance to turn the tide of battle and crush the rebellion before it could gain any more ground. He summoned the Admiral to his court, offering him command of the remaining Imperial forces and a mandate to restore order to the galaxy by any means necessary. Admiral Vexis, a figure cloaked in shadows and mystery, accepted the Emperor's offer with a predatory smile, his eyes gleaming with a dangerous light. He saw in the chaos and disarray of the Empire's defeat an opportunity to assert his own power and dominance, to carve out a legacy that would be remembered for eons to come. Under Admiral Vexis's command, the remnants of the Imperial fleet regrouped and reorganized, their ranks bolstered by fanatical loyalists and ruthless mercenaries drawn to the promise of power and glory. Together, they embarked on a campaign of terror and conquest, striking back at the rebellious worlds with a ferocity and brutality that sent shockwaves through the galaxy. As the Earth Defense Coalition and its allies braced themselves for the renewed onslaught of the Empire, whispers of Admiral Vexus's dark exploits spread fear and uncertainty among the ranks of the resistance fighters. The shadow of his fleet loomed large on the horizon, a threat that could not be ignored and a challenge that would test the resolve and unity of the rebels like never before. The galaxy stood on the brink of a new chapter in the war for freedom, where the forces of tyranny and defiance clashed in a battle for the soul of the cosmos. The remnants of the Empire, led by the enigmatic Admiral Vexis, sought to reclaim their lost dominance, while the rebels, inspired by the courage and spirit of Earth, stood firm in their determination to fight for liberty and justice for all who yearned to live without fear of tyranny. The ominous shadow of Admiral Vexus's fleet loomed over the once peaceful planet of Helion Seven, casting a pall of fear and uncertainty over its inhabitants. The Empire's relentless campaign of terror and conquest had reached this outpost world, and the people of Helion Seven braced themselves for the inevitable clash between the forces of oppression and the defenders of freedom. General Adam Hayes and the Earth Defense Coalition, along with their allies from Ceres Prime and other liberated worlds, rallied to the defense of Helion Seven, determined to protect the planet from the wrath of Admiral Vexis and his ruthless legions. Together, they formed a formidable front line against the encroaching tide of tyranny, their spirits unwavering in the face of overwhelming odds. As the Imperial fleet descended upon Helion Seven, warships clashed in the skies above, their weapons unleashing devastation upon the planet's surface. The defenders fought with unmatched valor and determination, their resolve steeled by the memory of Earth's defiance and the sacrifices made in the name of freedom. On the ground, soldiers from Earth, Ceres Prime, and other allied worlds engaged the Imperial troops in fierce combat, their weapons blazing as they pushed back the invaders with unwavering courage. The streets of Helion Seven became a battlefield, the air thick with the sounds of explosions and the cries of the wounded and fallen. General Hayes led the charge, his strategic brilliance guiding the defenders through the chaos of battle with precision and skill. His voice rang out above the din of war, rallying his comrades with words of inspiration and unity, a beacon of hope in the face of despair. Amidst the smoke and fire of battle, a critical turning point was reached when a daring strike team managed to disable the Imperial fleet's communications array, disrupting their coordination and plunging their forces into disarray. Seizing the opportunity, the defenders launched a powerful counterattack, pushing the Imperial forces back with a ferocity that left Admiral Vexus's forces reeling. In a climactic showdown, General Hayes and Admiral Vexus faced off in a duel of wills and steel, their fates entwined in the outcome of the battle for Helion Seven. Sparks flew as their blades clashed, each combatant fighting with a fierce determination that mirrored the struggle between tyranny and freedom that raged across the galaxy. In the end, it was the unwavering unity and indomitable spirit of the coalition forces that carried the day. Admiral Vexus's fleet was dealt a decisive blow, his forces scattered and defeated in the face of the combined might of Earth and its allies. The people of Helion Seven emerged victorious, their planet liberated from the clutches of the Galactic Empire and a beacon of hope for all who dared to resist its oppressive rule. As the dust settled and the echoes of battle faded, General Hayes stood amidst the ruins of war, his gaze fixed on the horizon where new challenges awaited. The Battle of Helion Seven had been won, but the war for freedom in the galaxy was far from over. The forces of oppression had been dealt a blow, 
but they would not rest until tyranny was vanquished once and for all. And so, the Earth Defense Coalition and its allies stood ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead, united in their quest for a brighter future where liberty and justice reigned supreme. The years passed, and Jack Thompson's journey through the stars had taken him to the farthest reaches of the galaxy. His tireless dedication to the cause of unity and peace had earned him a place in the hearts of all who called the Galactic Alliance home. As a respected elder statesman of the Alliance, Jack's wisdom and leadership were sought after by leaders and soldiers alike. Despite the relative peace that had settled over the galaxy, a new challenge loomed on the horizon, an ominous threat that stirred whispers of fear and uncertainty among the Alliance worlds. Reports of a mysterious cosmic anomaly known as the Rift, a tear in the fabric of space-time that devoured entire star systems without warning, sent tremors of unease through the core worlds of the Alliance. As the Galactic Alliance mobilized to confront this unprecedented danger, Jack was once again called upon to lead the charge. With a heavy heart and a steely resolve, he assembled a diverse coalition of allies from across the galaxy, each bringing their unique skills and strengths to the table in a unified front against the enigmatic rift. The journey to the heart of the rift was fraught with danger and uncertainty, as the anomaly defied all attempts to understand its origins or purpose. Jack and his allies braved treacherous cosmic storms, navigated through unstable rifts in space, and faced off against formidable cosmic entities that seemed to challenge the very laws of nature. As they delved deeper into the void surrounding the rift, a sense of foreboding gripped the hearts of all who ventured forth. The whispers of ancient cosmic forces echoed through the void, hinting at a power beyond comprehension that threatened to consume everything in its path. In the heart of the rift, a titanic battle unfolded, a clash of wills and powers that shook the very foundations of reality. Jack's leadership and courage shone through as he guided his allies with unwavering resolve, unleashing a coordinated assault that sought to sever the rift's hold on the galaxy once and for all. As cosmic energies clashed and reality itself seemed to bend and warp around them, Jack stood at the forefront of the battle, his eyes fixed on the swirling maelstrom of chaos before him. With a final defiant cry, he led the charge against the heart of the anomaly, determined to bring an end to the threat that loomed over the galaxy. And in a blinding flash of light, the rift collapsed in on itself, its malevolent influence dispersing into the void as quickly as it had appeared. The galaxy was safe once more, its future secured by the courage and sacrifice of those who had stood against the darkness. As the stars once again shone brightly in the sky, a profound sense of peace washed over Jack. The threat of the rift may have been vanquished, but his journey was far from over. The galaxy remained a vast and wondrous expanse, filled with endless possibilities and untold adventures waiting to be discovered. With a sense of optimism and hope for the future, Jack Thompson gazed out at the stars, ready to embrace the next chapter in his never-ending odyssey through the cosmos. And as he set forth once more into the unknown, his spirit unbroken and his resolve unwavering, he knew that the galaxy would always have a champion in him, a beacon of light in the infinite darkness of space.